is or is not extremism a threat? Tonight, is or is not extremism a threat in America's Muslim communities? Deeks worry that Muslim Americans are being unfairly singled out. If every time you say the word Islam, you say Islamic extremists, that, that you begin to tie those two concepts together in the people's minds. Good evening. In the years since the terrorist attacks of September 11, the New York City Police Department has largely gotten high marks for keeping the city safe. The NYPD brass believe that diligent and proactive police work could stop attacks before they even happen. That's the key to effective counterterrorism. But recently, the NYPD has faced some heavy criticism. A series of controversial investigative reports by the Associated Press disclosed targeted surveillance operations and undercover police activity that many critics say have crossed the line. The NYPD has been monitoring Muslim Americans, their organizations, their mosques, student groups and the nypd operation wasn't just in new york but throughout the northeast it, it was a top secret operation launched in the name of public safety as you might expect these revelations have ignited a firestorm especially from muslim american communities we went to a mosque in newark new jersey one that had been monitored by the new york police department the imam Mustafa El Amin preached a fiery sermon that Friday afternoon. We all are bound. This is our country, our country. And I can say for many of us that there are many elements among us that are looking to instigate, to provoke, and provocateur to get us off base and get us off focus to do something crazy that will hurt us and our family and our mission and our image. We'll be the first to try to stop it. And we will welcome any kind of surveillance, any kind of help to help us. Because we have family, children, babies. And when people go extreme, they don't care nothing about your children, your baby, or your faith. They're trying to make a point. And that goes for people who call themselves Muslim, Christian, and Jews across the board. But while Imam El Amin did say he welcomed police surveillance, he also stressed that the actions of a few extremists should never be used to characterize all Muslim Americans. So the rational mind will understand that you can't blame a whole community because of the action of other people. You can never say all Muslims are terrorists because of the actions of certain people. <coughs> you can't do it with Muslim, Christians, and Jews. It's not fair. And then Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Assalamu alaikum um, um, What we just heard was a, a clip from a news coverage of um, uh, NYPD spying on the Muslim community and um, one of the major um, um, reporters then rather had his people come to Masjid Ibrahim um, um, to cover the masjid and, and our thoughts on that. And what you see here in, in front is a, a article um, that was uh, put together um, from someone visiting the masjid over a period of, of time um, to get a feel from myself and the community how we felt about the NYPD spine. But more importantly than that was to... Um, do the dawah and, and let it be known that we had nothing to hide and that um, to project the best image of Muslims, of Islam, which we always uh, try to do to uh, protect uh, and promote the, uh, the honor of Islam, of Muslims, and, um, and to present the, um, the best image of Muslims. Then... Um, the spine was a result of 911 um, that was uh, taking place in New Jersey and other places. And so um, now in 2024, 
uh, we should always be alert, not not just in, from a negative point of them spying on us, because I would think that for sure with what's going on in the Middle East, and I've got calls from Homeland Security myself, uh, from a security point of uh, trying to protect, protect the masjids, the synagogues, the churches, etc. But I think it's also logical um, to um, to conclude that we're also under surveillance uh, once again um, in the light of everything that's going on with uh, Israel and, 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 and Palestine and, and America and some of the things that's going on with them in Iran. Um, so um, we're sharing this. Uh, my point is to show again that we've always did what we could and we're doing it now to uh, present the best image of our community, the best image of Al Islam, and uh, to fight any negativity that comes against our community. And um, and and here I'm, I'm in Jersey in Newark, and you know certain things have just recently happened with the killing of a, a imam here, and there's things floating around uh, about who may have done it and all of that. So. I don't think these things should go unchallenged, you know, um, unaddressed, pardon me. And so here I'm showing this to show that, you know, we stood up uh, then and we'll stand up now and we will always stand up in defense of our community, always fighting to present the best image of our community as Muslims and believers and um, uh, projecting our honor you know, as a as a Muslim community, and standing for our 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 um our rights, et cetera, and building relationships, and because as a result of this here, I know in Jersey we built uh, there was strong relationship established with law enforcement in New Jersey, and here is a is a article. Under suspicion, this is was done in the New Jersey Monthly magazine in 2012. Uh, one of the most popular and major um, uh, uh, magazines. Now I don't want to keep talking, but what you heard there. Now we're going to just play another clip, okay? Uh, uh, from from uh, concerning. Uh, uh, promoting dawah of our of our image as Muslims and believers. That the religion of Islam does not promote violence, violence and terrorism of any form. The Quran condemns it, and we as Muslims in America, we appreciate the rights and privileges that are afforded to us based upon the Constitution. And in our religion, we are to believe in all of the prophets. Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and we are to invite people we with wisdom and sure. and we ain't going nowhere. So, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, just want to show this short clip here and remind us to do all that we can to project the best image of our deen, of being Muslims and believers, and um, um, project the best honor the honor of our, us as Muslims in community. And when we see situations that may seem that they're uh, giving misinformation about what I, what we're about, or we may do things ourselves, make mistakes or things happen in our community, then we're responsible and part of our dawah with respect for other people um, if we can. And so I'm just showing this here as, documenting, preserving, and sharing our history, okay? And the voice that you're hearing was uh, reporter Dan Rather, who was well-known, and in other other places uh, that came to Master Ibrahim, and we are trying to keep doing what we can to represent our community in the best way. So we just wanted to share this. Hope it's helpful. Congressman Ellison's chief worries. 
that surveillance tactics like the NYPD's could be viewed as antagonistic and thus undermine counterterrorism efforts by alienating the very people who can help the most. I think law enforcement needs to be aware that their best allies to stop Muslim radicalization, violent radicalization, is the Muslim community. In America, we cannot police people's thinking. We cannot tell people to not think the thoughts of a Ku Klux Klaner or a neo-Nazi or a peace and justice advocate or an environmental advocate. We can't police what people think. In America, people can think whatever they want to think. What they cannot do is hurt other people as they do it. We could get you to a diabetic specialist if you wanted. As for Dr. Jasser, he told us that whatever people may think of him and his message, he believes this country needs to have a far more open and honest debate. If I can't argue these ideas with my American Muslim colleagues and friends and begin to figure out who's right and wrong and... Uh, which direction into the future we want to take as Muslims in America, then I might as well be living in Syria, where people are getting shot in the streets for their opinions. Brian Michael Jenkins says that while he also welcomes the debate, we cannot let our fear obscure the principles upon which this country was founded. I mean, 9-11 was a terrible tragedy. 9-11 did not bring down the republic. Al-Qaeda will not bring down the republic. Any future terrorist threat is not going to bring down this nation. That's something only we can do. That's our choice. Muslims in America is an important and complicated topic. We will continue to report on it. Now, when we and needed, we went to a mosque in Newark, New Jersey, one that had been monitored by the New York Police Department. The Imam, Mustafa El Amin, preached a fiery sermon that Friday afternoon. We all know that. This is our country, our country. And I can say for many of us that there's any elements among us that's looking to instigate, to provoke as provocateurs, to get us off base and get us on focus to do something crazy that will hurt us and our family and our mission and our image, we'll be the first to try to stop it. And we will welcome any kind of surveillance, any kind of help to help us. Because we have family, children, babies. And when people go extreme, they don't care nothing about your children, your baby, or your faith. They're trying to make a point. And that goes for people who call themselves Muslim, Christians, and Jews is across the board. But while Imam El Amin did say he welcomed police surveillance, he also stressed that the actions of a few extremists should never be used to characterize all Muslim Americans. So the rational mind will understand that you can't blame a whole community because of the actions of other people. So you can never say all Muslims are terrorists because of the actions of certain people. <coughs> You can't do it with Muslim, Christians, and Jews. It's not fair. It's not proper. And then... The religion of Islam does not promote violence and terrorism of any form. The Quran condemns it. And we as Muslims in America, we appreciate the rights and privileges that are afforded to us based upon the Constitution. And in our religion... We are to believe in all of the prophets, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and we are to invite people we are not with about wisdom to and for sure. Preach. And we ain't going nowhere. That last part was a part of an ad uh, that I ran on um, public TV, CNN, and others uh, back then to try to um, project the uh, right image of our of our dean. So trying to project in, in our character, in our words, the uh, best image um, of al-Islam and us as Muslims and believers. And just real quick, what you see here is in 2012, after it was revealed that NYPD had um, spied upon the Muslim community, um, that this particular writer here, a professor from Seton Hall in New Jersey, 
and others. Uh, we got a lot of uh, news coverage. Uh, some uh, aspects of the community, they sued NYPD, et cetera. Um, he had went to various masjids, and, um, uh, but he felt comfortable uh, coming to Masjid Ibrahim and the way we was handling the situation. Um, and so it went on for a, couple, a few weeks. He would come to Juma, et cetera, and um, talk to the believers there and talk to myself. And uh, he said that he had spoke to his family and said he felt the master that he was comfortable with, uh, Master Ibrahim, and that he was doing a story for um, uh, uh, New Jersey Monthly Magazine. And uh, he wanted to be with us at Master Ibrahim. And so this is what you see as a result of a, a very popular uh, magazine there in 2012. Um, and that's what you, that's what you, you see here is a full story. But anyway, uh, just always looking to do something to help encourage us to move forward and be positive and, uh, and thank Allah as Muslims and believers and do what we can to, to help the community. You know, uh, we're still dealing with uh, here in, um, in our community, you know, Imam here in Newark, where this year we were spied upon. But in 2024, uh, Imam in Newark was um, shot and killed on his way to Juma, on his way to a Fajr prayer. And, you know, there's coverage and things floating around that it may have been a family member and some some even saying, you know, this is the reports from the news and um, law enforcement. They're looking at family members and they arrested his son and all of that. So me being born and raised in Newark and being an imam and just a regular person myself, um, you know, it was sad and we pray for his family. But also, you know, that image there, you know, to me, it makes us look, uh, if that's the case, and just, just the possibility that um, uh, they're putting out. It could have been a family member, Muslim son. Um, to me, is 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 sad. Um, 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 not only is it sad, but um, um, unfortunate, uh, and I'm reaching for the word disappointing, um, um, to, to even have that that consideration uh, and something like that related to our Muslim community. So, um, um, you know, we, we're waiting to see, you know, who would be charged, but just to have that, you know. So in my opinion, you know, we don't have to pretend, you know, we see something coming. So we 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 uh, address it in our own way. We project the best. Um, I put out on Facebook pictures of um, myself and my son, not for people to just look at that, but I also said this is a good time to share and highlight a positive uh, family relationship. You know, and uh, I was hoping people start sharing pictures of them with their family and fathers with their sons because of uh, what's in the atmosphere and uh, what what is possibly coming, you know, what charges may be coming, and to show that, okay, this is something that happened. It's a terrible thing, and in my opinion. It makes us look bad in a, in a certain way. But Allah knows best, and you always have tests and challenges. So if you see that coming, in my opinion, start projecting, you know, the, the better image, you know, father and son, you know, and... Uh, and family image, you know, uh, you do it anyway. But if you see something like this has hit the environment, you know, then, you know, I uh, think one thing you do, you show the positive side of the Muslim community and father and son and family. And I've, I've uh, said that and, and, and done that, and I encourage us to do that uh, even more now and anytime because, you know, uh, if that's not the case and it's, you know, floating around, if that's not the case, then alhamdulillah, that we showed good images of us, father, son, family. And if it is the case, it's, it's a good thing to do. You know, it's like it's like saying if that's the case, still alhamdulillah. 
If that's not the case, alhamdulillah. <coughs> you know, it's always praise be to Allah. So here, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I need to close, but to show that, you know, I myself and others that, you know, we will continue to have an obligation and committed to protect the honor, the image of our community in the best way we can. And the best way you can do it is do your actions and your deeds, you know, good character, of course, um, but good deeds, you know. Okay, so much of what you heard here, and, and there were several ads and articles of Muslim community um, 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 taking a stand against the spine, but I'm, I'm of the belief, um, I think it's logical and rational to believe that what we see going on in the Middle East and what's going on in the world now, that uh, Homeland Security and others are not just watching the synagogues and the masjids, et cetera, <coughs> for our protection, you know, from someone coming and harming us. I do believe that's the case, and we appreciate it, but I would also, I think it's logical to believe that we're being watched um, for any possibility of um, any bad elements from among our community, you know, committing um, terrorist acts or anything like that, there any negative acts. Um, uh, against us or against anyone in our country, and so what you what you heard me plan was was um, well known Dan Rather, and after that I'm just showing you this was the thank you card from Dan Rather reports. Uh, thank you for participating. You know, but my my whole point was we have nothing to hide. You know, we don't have nothing to hide, and everyone is welcome to Master Ibrahim and to our, to our masters. And all of the prophets, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and we are to invite people we are not with wisdom to and, for sure. and we ain't going on.